begin with, let's say that Spaces is an application that allows OS 10.5 users to have multiple desktop environments. We can demonstrate the usefulness with a comparison, I guess, a Spaces integrated work environment versus one without Spaces. Um, so let's get started. First we'll take a look at the options a user has for working with many programs at once without Spaces. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is my workspace. You can see down here in the dock that I've got multiple programs open. I've got iCal open. Uh, I've got another calendaring application open, a to-do manager. Uh, my iTunes is always open, of course. Um, and I remember when I first switched to Mac, my efforts at managing the desktop environment were something like this, where I had many windows of various shapes and sizes sort of configured and arranged around the screen such that I could reach them with my mouse. So I could switch from iTunes to my to-do manager, back to the calendar, and sometimes I would have to go down to the dock and click the icon there to bring up the full screen. Um, and what I found myself doing was this dance of moving windows around and constantly resizing so that I could get to them. You know, I might get tired of having to go to the dock when moving from daylight, my calendaring application here, which I have chosen to keep in full screen. So I'd have to come down here to get back to my to-do manager. At some point I would decide, you know what, I don't want to do that. I want to be able to get right to the to-do manager from daylight. So it would be this, this, sort of, this sort of workflow where you have layered windows like this where you can get to all of them. Um, this is one of the most inefficient ways to, to work. You've got a lot better tools at your disposal with the OS X interface. Um, the next step is managing this, of course, with minimizations, maximizations to the dock. So, you know, uh, at the extreme, we have everything minimized except for, you know, the main program that we're working in. And when you need something else, you can minimize, maximize something else. This is horrible. It's hard for me to do this even. <laughs> um, that led to, or I guess you should say, a more advanced way of working with multiple windows. Let's bring them all back open here. We'll add my iChat into the mix. Um, the application switcher is a built-in sort of interface utility that it's ready to go already. Um, takes some configuration, but basically the way it works is you use the command key and the tab key on the keyboard. So right now I'm going to put my thumb on the command key. Okay, that's down. And then I'm going to tap the tab key and you get this nice little bar across the middle of the screen that will show you the icons of the open applications. Now you can use your mouse and switch so um, right now the leftmost application indicates that iChat is at the front which of course is true we can see here in the menu bar that iChat is the active application if I want to switch directly to calendar say I can come over here with my mouse point to it now the calendar is at the front perhaps I want to go back to the iChat command tab I can use my mouse. Now notice iChat is the second one on the list because it was the second most recently accessed application. Um, the mouse is a nice tool for moving down later in the list quickly, but um, to utilize the application switcher the most efficiently really is to just tap tab key. So here I am on the calendar. I want to get back to my iChat, command tab. You know, you get to the point where you don't even have to look at the switcher. You can arrange your recently viewed applications in an order such that you can move between them very fast with the keyboard. Um, if you want to move backwards, you can throw the shift key into the mix. So now I'm holding down the command key and the shift key and tapping the tab key with yet another finger. This will take a little practice for those of you with clumsy hands or inexperienced hands on the keyboard. So here we go. We're moving backwards. Uh, and in this way, we can switch quickly. Um, most of the time I find myself working within two or three main applications, say email for example, um, and a calendar. Because yeah, I'm looking at a calendar or I'm looking at an email and then adding events to the calendar, or vice versa, creating emails. So with this situation you can quickly command tab and switch back and forth to the recent ones. So this, this is really all that a pre-leopard user has in terms of built-in utilities for managing a busy workspace. Um, 
Fortunately, you're a lucky person to have the world's most advanced operating system at your disposal. So let's take a look at setting up and using one of its most useful features, spaces.